In this lecture, guys, I'm going to cover concatenation of arrays of mixed dimensions. Uh, so in the previous lecture, we saw, um, I mean, how can you concatenate or join arrays of uh, same dimensions, right? You have a, a two by three array, and then you another, you have another uh, two by three array, and how can you concatenate them, for example? But here we can now look at arrays of different dimensions and how you can join them. So we have this grid uh, array here, which is a two by th three array, right? Because we have a two two rows and three columns. Uh, how can you concatenate that to something like this, for example? X equals uh, n p dot array. Um, and then square brackets, a single dimensional array, one, two, three. Um, how can you how can you concatenate this guy with something like this grid here? Um, so this is our x. Um, and as you can see, one, two, three. And we can see this can neatly go under uh, this array here. So we have one, two, three here. And you know what? Let's change this some other value, right? Let's make it 99, um, 44, 45. And let's do that again so it's not confusing. Um, as you can see, we have one, two, three here, and then you have four, five, six. Uh, we can actually uh, kind of put this guy 9, 99, 45, 12 under uh, this grid here, uh, kind of like vertically stacking it. As you can see, the name vertically stacking it. That's why we have this method here called np.vstack. Uh, so, what this guy does is actually stacks this array, the x array. Uh, under the grid array, so NPR. and then you have uh, say grid and X, and as you can see, uh, it's ver vertically stacked. V means vertical, so it's kind of vertically stacked uh, under our grid array here. This was our original two-dimensional array, and now we have this new uh, array, which kind of neatly fits into that grid array, right? Uh, and now. As you can imagine, now we have vertical stack, so that means we also have horizontal stack. So let's take y, and as you can see, uh, we're gonna mix it or join it with uh, concatenate it with uh, uh, with this array here, the grid array, right? So let's make y as uh, np dot array, and it's gonna be two dimensional. Let's say one thousand. Um, since it's two-dimensional, we have one more square bracket there. Then we have nine 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 nine. Let's close the square bracket. As you can see, this is a two-dimensional array here, right? And we can actually check that. What kind of shape is this? It's a two comma one. That means we have two rows: one row, second row, and just one column here. Um, so now what we can do is we can do np dot h stack and grid comma y. So as you can see, what's going to happen is uh, we have one, two, three here, four, five, six here, and then here somewhere we're gonna have uh, our one thousand and nine nine nine. So and there you go. Uh, it's a two-dimensional array still. One, two, three, and the we have this kind of neat looking uh, array here, uh, one thousand uh, and nine, 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 nine. As you can see, why this is called horizontal? This is called horizontal because this is horizontally uh, uh, concatenated, right? So we had this array here, and then we got this array here horizontally added. It's not vertical. It's not down below here stacked. It's on the axis one which is our column axis, right? Uh, so there you have it. Uh, we looked at concatenation of arrays, uh, same dimension arrays, and we also looked at concatenation of mixed dimension arrays.